My dear colleagues and guests, today is the 15th of February 2021, 15 o'clock, Moscow time. Uh, let me start the dissertation uh, committee. Uh, the session uh, dedicated to defense of the station by Christina Denis Zaidas seeking an academic degree in the philology, the philological sciences in the degree field 10201 Russian on the topic predicative pragmatic markers in Russian spoken and spontaneous speech open uh, according to the act of uh, academic secretary St. Petersburg University Alexander Vesel Valentinovich Gnatov um, dated uh, 8th of December 2020 I, Elena Yurna uh, Ivanova, Doctor of Philological Sciences Professor of the Department of Slavic Philology St. Petersburg University was appointed uh, uh, n uh, chairperson of this meeting, of this committee, uh, also with us uh, on the committee is uh, Maria Dmitrieva Vajko, Doctor of Philological Sciences, Professor of the Department of Russian. Uh, can you hear and see us? Uh, ma yes, we can. Marina Nikolaevna Priyomash, Doctor of Philological Sciences. Uh, the um, uh, then the, for our Finnish colleague, um, uh, uh, Protasso Ekaterin Yurin, Doctor of Pedagogical Sciences, Professor Junkt uh, at the Helsinki University uh, Languages Division of Finland. Can you see hear us? Yes, I can. Uh, yes, Yelafe Ilyana Valentin Yerafin, uh, Doctor of Philological Science, uh, Department of Theoretical and Applied uh, Linguistics, Perm State University, Research University. Can you hear and see us? Uh, yes, uh, and and Priyamshu Marin Nikolaev, Doctor of Biological Sciences, uh, um, uh, Chief, uh, well, uh, Senior Research Fellow at the Institute of Linguistics uh, Research, uh, Russian Academy of Sciences. Can you hear us? Uh, also, with us uh, is um, uh, the research advisor of the university. Natalia Viktorovna Bogdanova Viglaran, a doctor of philological science professor of the Department of Russian, um, the Russian language, St. Petersburg University, and also, of course, the candidate, uh, Karstina Valeriana Zaidis. Well, in, to improve the quality of connection, uh, please, uh, dear guests, uh, dear members of the station council who are online with us, uh, uh, now please don't uh, switch off your telephones uh, so that we could have uh, an alternative channel to reach you. I would like to inform you that an audio uh, and video uh, recording is being carried out of this uh, session and it's broadcast live on the website of St. Petersburg, Petersburg University. It's also accompanied with a consecutive interpreting uh, uh, with consecutive interpreting from Russian to English and from English to Russian. Um, uh, all questions are uh, uh, that have been sent online to us uh, will be read only if they are uh, if the affiliation and the name of the author of the question uh, is sta uh, stated um, uh, uh, all questions that have nothing to do with the academic discussion or the dissertation or the text or the assessment of the dissertation uh, will be read uh, in accordance with the procedure of awarding St. Peter's St. Petersburg University degrees, uh, kind of sciences, uh, doctor of sciences, um, that are stipulated by the bylaws of St. Petersburg University. Uh, a session of the station committee is legitimate if not more, th not less than two thirds of the established membership uh, are present, uh, but not fewer than four people. Our station committee consists of five people, or five people are present, uh, including four people. Four uh, members of the station committee uh, in a distance mode. Uh, therefore, we have the quorum uh, and uh, we have uh, audio visual connection with them. I would like to uh, set out uh, the procedure that we're going to follow. I'm not going to to run over the whole uh, the whole procedure. Do you have no? No, no, thank you very much. If if there are no questions, then we'll uh, go over uh, the 
uh, the protocol here. The dissertation of uh, of Christina uh, Denison Zaidas uh, uh, is the, uh, submitted for a degree of kind of philological sciences in the academic degree 10.02.01 uh, Russian language and the topic is the pragmatic markers of predicative type and uh, the Russian uh, oral prospontaneous speech and it was accepted for defense uh, by the academic secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 7th of December 2020. Zaidis Kristina Denisovna wrote her dissertation uh, research uh, in St. Petersburg University, um, uh, supervised by the um, professor of the Department of Russian, uh, Natalia Viktor Bogdanova Begloren. Uh, the number of publications uh, uh, which relate to the uh, refindings of the dissertation uh, numbers uh, eight uh, in the uh, refereed um, uh, publications uh, established by the Minister of uh, uh, approved by the Minister of um, uh, Science of the Russian Affairs, three publications and four publications on web of science as corpus the, the databases. Uh, the candidate uh, submitted all the necessary documentation uh, uh, for the defense take place and they uh, completely um, uh, meet the requirements uh, of the procedure. Uh, all the documents are in the file of the, and the copies of which are very available from the member of the station committee management um, office. Uh, and then uh, if you have any questions uh, of general uh, nature to the defendant, uh, 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 please ask. Uh, and do you have any questions on whether we need to go over each item of the paperwork that was be submitted. Do you agree? Uh, do, uh, no. Uh, no questions, no objections. Um, do you have any general questions to the, to the candidate before the... No. Before the presentation, no. No questions then. Christian Denisovna, your um, floor. Dear. Dear members of the dissertation committee, dear colleagues and guests, uh, uh, my uh, the topic is on the slide, and the, uh, its purpose was to multi-dimensional analysis of pragmatic markers of the predicative type, uh, taking into account both the form of oral speech and the social and psychological characteristics of the speaker. The work investigated uh, uh, 1370. Uh, uh, uses of such mark uses of such markers the analysis was carried out in various aspects and then included definition of the functional type of the marker syntactic analysis identification of differential signs of uh, the markers in comparison with homophobic units establishing uh, the frequency of PMPT in this uh, research material and identifying significant correlations with the social psychological characteristics the source of the material of the study was two corpuses, Russian oral, oral spontaneous speech, one speech a day, one speech day, or ORD, which is more, mainly a dialogical form of speech, and balanced and annotated, annotated tells, textbook sets containing monologues. Um, uh, Pragmatic markers mean those words, phrases, and sentences that in speech use particularly lose or significantly weaken their own lexical meaning and reduce the paradigm of grammatical forms that is, are subjected to desemantization and grammaticalization, and then are, uh, are pragmatis pragmatized, uh, pragmatized and passing into the class of purely functional species. The immediate subject of research is pragmatic markers of the predictive type. This is one of the types of PMs that form predictive units in traditional syntax synt sentences, but in oral speech they are only formally predictive. A common property of all PMPT is the appearance of a pragmatic meaning in a unit or its performance in of a certain function uh, in discourse, which replaces the lex lexical meaning inherent in, in its homophonic um, source sentence. Unlike markers, words, and markers, phrases, and PMT, a verbal predictive component is acquired, which can be emitted in a specific implement um, instance. 
Now, the, uh, the marker itself usually has a sentence-like stru structure and a plug-in and a plug-in character. In a marker or predictive type, syntactic connections are ab absent or weakened. Pragmatic markers are predictive includes of the following units: speaks, speaks, and so on. Uh, let's say, or as he or she them called, or as it is called, how he she are called how it is uh, one can say called in short as a matter of fact uh, you know you know those you understand those see those so on what more can be said can uh, i do not think that i do not know the most frequent research material appearances uh, says great 16 percent you know those in short 14 percent the short speaking 13 i don't know when that and listen those 9%. The first provision for defenses relates to the very definition of a pragmatic marker or predictive type. Thus, PMT, PMTs, uh, PMPTs um, are not embedded in the syntactic structure of spontaneous speech. Their lexical grammatical mills are weakened, and their main role in discourse is reduced to the perfor performance of specific functions. The PMT is characterized by certain functions. The hesitating function is usually performed by such PMPTs as I don't know, I don't think so, uh, what, uh, how it is, how she, she, them, what else in short speaking, actually speaking. The, f the last two PMTs also perform a delimiting function. Uh, a typical Zeno indicator indicating that the transmission of someone else's speech in PMPT says great uh, meta. Meta-communicatives meta are extremely frequent in speech. PMPT, you know those, um, you understand those, uh, uh, you see those, etc. It is assumed that PMPTs receive the form of predicativity of purely functional speech units, which is different uh, from the traditional predictiveness of uh, synthesis. In contrast to the traditional view of predictiveness uh, of linguistic units and pragmatic markers, such predictivity is more a residual phenomenon that is, in fact, formal predictivity and not a real grammatical characteristic. Thus, the predictiveness uh, of a sentence uh, and as it constituent feature in functional use turns into the formal predictiveness of a marker. Predictiveness of markers in those cases understood as the property of PM uh, that is inherited um, from the source sentence and manifests itself mainly in its residual grammatical variability. Then PMTs uh, arise new functional units of speech developed from full-fledged linguistic predicative units, frozen one of their forms, particularly without the paradigm of change, which are used in speech uh, as automatism. Uh, as a result of the analysis of the, of the process of pra pragmatization, markers a scale of pragmatization was developed reflecting bo both the process of pragmatization uh, itself and the degree of, of uh, the process of markers, the, the, uh, the pragmatization of markers, the diachronic scale of uh, pragmatization uh, of an individual marker shows that possibilities of its development from a proto-sentence proto into a purely functional unit. Markers are drawn on the synchronic scale according to the assumed degree of their pragmatization, that is, the sum of their romantic, semantic, grammatical, syntactic, functional distance. Consider uh, differences uh, from the source sentence. Uh, consider the synchronic um, uh, scale of pragmatization. Each of the pragmatic units is supposed to stand at a certain level of the pragmatization scale, and a combination of certain features can shift the marker on the scale closer to the traditional lexical units or further away from them towards purely functional speech units. From left to right, markers are drawn according to the degree of their pragmatization from the smallest to the largest. It is possible to disti distinguish such typical, typical signs of pragmatization as, as first, weakening of lexical, me lexical meaning, second, reducing the possibilities of grammatical change, third, loss of components, fourth, fixing the composition of marker and the other uh, order of elements in its composition, fifth, strengthening of the functional load. Uh, the PMPTs, um, uh, have uh, 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 the PMT says great uh, is great uh, and the other forms have the least degree of pragmatization since the mar this mark has the widest possibility of grammatical change over them. It seems that um, more pragmatized it seems are the PMPTs derived from the verbs and have passed through the stage of introductory words and phrases. Uh, contact verbs, uh, you know, you understand, you see those and others. And the lexical meaning of the original verb is almost completely erased uh, from them. The number of grammatical forms is limited. 
Further on the scale of pragmatization, uh, PMPTs formed from parts of complex, complex sentences. Uh, PMPTs, PT, I do not know, and I do not know. Don't think that, uh, as it seems, even more pragmatic, it seems, are the PMPTs also derived from the introductory phrases. In short speaking and actually speaking, the expected form in general speaking uh, was not found in the research material. They do not uh, have a variety of grammatical force. The uh, Im a most prag completely pragmatic are the considered PMC say so or so say so to speak performing to uh, main functions in our space reflexive close to the interactive work say and hesitative in which it is as a rule the most pragmatic. Uh, at the same time, uh, this PMPT is practically no associated with the original verb, and not only one verb from form is, is possible in its composition. Formally, they are homophobic, homophonic, um, uh, homophonic uh, to short inter internationally complete sentences, um, but they are quite grammatical and perilous functional. The defense also includes a provision related to the proposed classification of PMPT. Now, both syntactic and functional criteria can serve as the basis for its creation. We have already seen the functional classification of PMPT, but the general class of PMPT uh, includes units with different syntactic st structures. A syntactic classification of P PMPT has also been developed. It is proposed to distinguish to distinguish formally incomplete PMPTs uh, with an omitted pronoun subject, formally incomplete PMPTs with an omitted verb predicate, and three formally incomplete PMPTs with an omitted standard predicate part, part, participle. The first group is the most common syntactic type. It includes such units as do not think uh, that uh, I do not know, you know what, and so on. They always they always contain a form of verbal predicate, which under the no circumstances can be omitted. Second group of PMPT uh, is the least frequent material, includes those units in which predicate can be omitted in speech implement uh, usage, um, which speaks of the complete pragmatization. Uh, the third group is formed by two significant frequent units in speech, short and proper. Um, uh, they consider uh, they originated uh, from introductory constructions. Finally, the last two defensive provisions are related to marked frequency. The number of PMPTs in speech and the nature of their use in a certain way correlate with gender, age, professional affiliation, the level of speech competence, the speaker, as well as with his or her psychological characteristics. Uh, s s also it correlates with uh, dialogue or monologue. Some fundamental conclusions about the relation between the number of markers and different characteristics of the speaker are presented on the slide. So the marker um, listen uh, uh, is typical for the speech of teachers and people of the middle and the older age groups and the PMT in short. In short, or uh, speaking briefly, as for the speech of men, uh, briefly speaking, young and uh, youth and speakers with the well, low CRC um, in the speech of women and students, I do not know the high frequency of PMT. In pragmatic markers of the predicative type uh, are used in both forms of oral spontaneous speech. However, in the dialogue, the frequency of metacommunicatives uh, and xeno uh, indicator markers is much higher. In a monologue, the role of hesitatives is much more important. I don't know what else, uh, how it is, the end reflexive say. Uh, the results of the search were included in dictionary monograph uh, pragmatic markers of Russian everyday speech created to date. Uh, the result, um, results of study are significant in creating all encompassing lexicographic, grammatical, and syntactic description of a spontaneous oral speech and its functional means. And uh, the research results are also irrelevant for the needs of linguistic forensic science and linguistic expertise in the practice of uh, translation. Thank you very much for, uh, for your attention. I'm ready to answer your questions. Thank you very much, Christina. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions to the speaker? No questions. Is understand? So, 
Therefore, thank you. Uh, uh, Christian Denisov, may I take your seat, please? Then members of the dissertation committee uh, have the um, opportunity to present their reviews. Do you accept this order that you will answer all the questions and criticism after all the reviews have been read? Or yes, uh, I would like to answer after all the reviews to uh, have been read. Thank you. The, there's been an external um, a review uh, from Burat uh, University. Uh, the the um, review is completely commendable and it's published on the website and therefore we're going to read it. Now I would like to give the floor to the other. All the all the reviews have been published on the website. Um, so please, members of the dissertation committee, you you can um, uh, only focus on the critical part of your review, or all of it. Yes, please, uh, but don't omit your questions or criti critical remark. So, do you have any objections? No. Thank you. Therefore, I would like to give the floor to to um, Ekaterina Yurina Pratasa. Thank you very much. The turn and the study of the Russian language from written speech to oral speech ha has taken place l quite recently, and uh, it is a Klondike, a linguistic Klondike. Um, uh, a European and uh, American approaches to the study of discourse and conversation uh, uh, have been uh, prevalent uh, in the discourse and linguistics for a long time. Uh, but um, uh, in Russia, uh, 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 recording verbat verbatim recordings have been studied in a different way and, uh, and not uh, in large numbers. Uh, and therefore, uh, the Russian linguists uh, uh, created a uh, unique uh, corpora of uh, uh, s sounding uh, speech, oral speech, that uh, uh, reveal uh, the secrets of everyday speech at a very high level, uh, and uh, and uh, therefore uh, we can talk about the relevance of this uh, uh, research uh, that talks about the uh, nature of uh, uh, the language. So this is. This is the relevance of a whole new research avenue that um, because it reconstructs uh, our understanding of the language. Uh, and um, from the very first page, uh, Christina Denisovna uh, makes a very important uh, 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 supposition. Um, how would uh, uh, the description of, a Russia, of the Russian language uh, have uh, looked uh, uh, if we, we had uh, studied it uh, uh, from the point of view of field linguistics. Uh, what uh, what uh, conclusions would we make? Uh, and um, therefore, I would like to stress here that uh, um, that in a world of linguistics, um, uh, the uh, the phenomenon uh, or the uh, conclusions about the different uh, phenomena in language. Uh, have always been uh, it was, uh, a law to be uh, uh, s supported by evidence from uh, real, um, re uh, real uh, speaking practices. Um, and therefore, um, uh, the research uh, has a lot of, uh, because uh, of this uh, corpus that uh, I already mentioned, uh, the researcher here had a such a wide front to work on. Uh, the dissertation uh, is quite logical uh, and cohesive. Uh, the theoretical part uh, looks like uh, 
a ready-made uh, textbook uh, in oral speech, uh, and the only thing I could be uh, could add here is that uh, the, uh, recently the hybrid uh, uh, oral uh, written speech, um, uh, like in chat uh, rooms. Uh, um, uh, ha has not been addressed in this uh, work, um, and I think uh, in Helsinki, for example, uh, um, uh, there are uh, some uh, corpuses uh, of the St. Petersburg speech of the 90s, uh, and therefore uh, maybe this text uh, will uh, become a textbook. Um, and again, uh, you can uh, turn your attention to uh, some other um, corpuses, um, as I said and avenues. Pragmatic markers um, following Bogdanov and Beglaran um, are a specific characteristic of oral speech, and uh, they uh, uh, mark uh, the boundaries of the text, uh, these markers, uh, and therefore uh, It's um, uh, another important um, uh, term for uh, for us uh, is predictiveness, uh, uh, which is understood uh, according to uh, Vinogradov. Uh, we, yeah, I should state that uh, this is a, a rare case of balancing of the of the corpora uh, in sociological, psychological, and psycholinguistic parameters uh, that opens up, which opens up a uh, huge. Uh, possibilities for comparison uh, and um, and of course uh, maybe uh, the dissertation author uh, did not choose um, uh, the tests uh, neuropsychological tests uh, uh, to be used uh, but uh, based uh, uh, her choice on uh, expertise of others but uh, uh, therefore um, uh, but uh, I can see that uh, they, these uh, monological and dialogical uh, speech uh, have been balanced out. Uh, very good. Um, so, so the um, classification of uh, of the tokens um, followed uh, such parameters as the age, uh, uh, education, and uh, other sociolinguistic parameters. One thing uh, needs uh, clarification. On page 142 of the Russian text, uh, you talk about metacommunicative uh, functions, and uh, you state that um, uh, they include uh, drawing and uh, retention, uh, retaining the attention of the speak of the listener, and the checking of the um, uh, common understanding of words and expressions by the commu uh, communicators. Um, uh, and this is in, well, which means the uh, commonality of their communicative field, um, etc. Uh, but uh, you, uh, I could uh, object here, uh, saying that um, not on, not, uh, but uh, this this goal uh, is served by uh, most, not, if not all, uh, words by the speaker, the used by the speakers. Uh, um, be, as a person uh, that um, that I, uh, that is used to discourse analysis and conversational analysis, uh, uh, it was strange for me to see that the uh, the author didn't uh, uh, use um, uh, the um, uh, the method of paraphrasing or um, of uh, interpretation, which uh, allows to uh, identify the specific uh, uh, features of uh, units under of the units under study. Uh, Christina Denisovna Zaidis uh, doesn't try to work on uh, semantic, on, on trying to find semantic invariance of, uh, of the pragmatic markers. Um, possibly uh, not uh, all uh, the native speakers uh, or language users um, uh, uh, for whom uh, Russian is not uh, uh, native uh, mother tongue uh, uh, can see all the um, uh, figurative uh, or indirect uh, meanings. Um, 
And uh, from my point of view, this uh, paraphrasing uh, allows to um, specify the semantics of the of the utterance uh, and uh, identify the pragmatic component of the meaning. But um, and the second question is um, uh, on the um, impact of blanks uh, and uh, incompleteness of markers. Uh, why, uh, why do you need uh, this? Uh, the scale and the uh, way of pragmatization are clear, but uh, 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 do these uh, contractions uh, lead to the uh, to the strengthening of the functional load? Uh, what is here of the uh, oral character of the speech, and what is of the pragmatics? Um, the third question is for the interpretation of the frequency of the markers. Nevertheless, um, uh, the dissertation of Christina Denison Zaydes uh, completely uh, r uh, meets the requirements of, uh, of St. Petersburg University on the um, awarding of de academic degrees, and uh, Christina Denison Zaydes deserves uh, uh, the sort degree to be uh, awarded to her. Thank you. Ekaterina Yurovna, thank you. Now, now, Maria Yurovna, Maria Dmitrievna Vaikova, please, uh, your turn to present your review. Thank you. Dear colleagues, I will read probably the key things. I think the dissertation uh, talks about well, actually exceeds the uh, the uh, minimal requirements uh, uh, for the second qualification work of the second level. Um, uh, it has um, a wonderful um, confirmation in publications um, uh, and. Um, and presentation, 22 public presentations and conferences of a high level, uh, in, uh, uh, mainly international, and 28 publications in the op uh, open access, uh, including uh, Scopus and uh, uh, Higher Attestation Committee uh, approved um, uh, journals. Um, this is, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, author is really prolific. Um, and uh, of course, um, uh, this uh, this character, well, this work uh, is uh, uh, supported by the fact that um, uh, the topic is very relevant and very regional. Uh, the pragmatic markers uh, have long uh, uh, been outside the uh, the uh, attention of researchers uh, because they were um, viewed as. Uh, um, uh, oral litter, or you know, speech litter, uh, or filler words, but um, or you know, s uh, parasite words, uh, as it is called in Russian, and uh, only with the um, advent of uh, colloquial uh, speech research uh, at the end of the 20th century, uh, the attitude to them uh, changed. Um, but still, but since then, uh, still uh, the study of such. Uh, uh, a unique uh, uh, linguistic units uh, has is far from being complete. Uh, first of all, uh, the boundaries are not uh, um, laid out, um, and uh, w secondly, uh, this role uh, can be uh, played uh, uh, both by uh, individual words. Uh, uh, and al but also by collocations and even uh, sentences. And uh, uh, very interesting, the methods that uh, uh, that um, Christina Dmitrievna used, um, uh, Denisovna used uh, for the analysis. Uh, uh, it has five stages um, uh, that uh, delineates functional and syntactic characteristics. Uh, uh, the determination of the degree of pragmatization, the sization, analysis of uh, frequency, you know, different types of uh, 
uh, markers uh, and uh, also correlation with uh, with the speaker characteristics, gen uh, gender, uh, age, uh, uh, speech competence, uh, professional affiliation, and uh, even the level of extrovertness. Um, this method can be used for and the analysis of other markers, um, pragmatic markers. Well, s sociological analysis of the data is very important. This typology is um, uh, this typology that was used uh, was developed by the research uh, team um, under Bogdanov, Beglaran, and Shirstinova, uh, who studied the Corpora One Linguistic Day on Language Day. And uh, also, it, and this team included uh, the author of the dissertation. And uh, that um, uh, is indicated in the uh, publications list. A very important result uh, is the sociological analysis of uh, of the data, uh, the establishment of uh, gender, professional, psychological characteristics in uh, and using uh, pragmatic markers. Uh, and it says that uh, men in and spontaneous speech, um, uh, spontaneous speech of men um, uh, has uh, markers. Uh, says twenty of the twenty of all the PMPTs. Uh, uh, briefly speaking, uh, or in short, uh, you know and uh, say, uh, understand, etc. So and uh, women. Uh, use uh, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, says and uh, listen, uh, and um, and then, you know, women, uh, instead of, uh, well, in, in the women's uh, uh, speech, uh, more than uh, in, uh, in men's uh, 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 you can find uh, listen, meaning listen to me, and so on. Therefore, um, the leading metacommunicative uh, PMPT uh, in men uh, says, uh, you know, uh, 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 is uh, you know, and women um, use uh, very often, uh, in addition to that, uh, listen. Uh, typically, men uh, men's uh, uh, hesitative, um, uh, according to this research, uh, uh, is uh, uh, in short, or uh, and uh, me, uh, uh, women's I don't know, and um, the Zeno uh, markers um, uh, that um, are uh, spread uh, in the speech of uh, both men and women. This. Uh, Another. Uh, so I have a question. Um, uh, obviously, these markers are in uh, different uh, parts of uh, speech uh, fragments. Uh, um, I say, or uh, in short, uh, usually uh, finish uh, a certain uh, logical uh, segment, uh, whereas uh, listen. Uh, 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 is put in an initial position normally. Uh, so how would you um, rate uh, the positional characteristics of um, in the system of PMPTs, um, the theoretical uh, significance uh, of the work uh, is that it overviews uh, a huge uh, uh, sea of literature, 374 uh, sources, including 130 in English, uh, in colloquial um, uh, uh, analysis, uh, uh, and um, you know, discourse uh, analysis, etc. So, then, in uh, it's very important to see that this. Uh, uh, this uh, 
conclusion is that uh, uh, for, uh, for most markers, uh, uh, there are some uh, preferences uh, that uh, uh, there are some, you know, which person is used there. Um, and uh, depending on the lexical uh, meaning of the marker, uh, the second uh, person is uh, juxtaposed uh, with uh, or to the first and the third, depending. And uh, for example, how is uh, well, and it's very important um, that uh, uh, he, for example, if you if the speaker can, a speaker cannot find. Uh, the right word, uh, then uh, uh, they will say, how is it, uh, meaning in the Russian, how is he, instead of how is her, or how is she, and so on, instead of, uh, and this is very important, and uh, it needs a further study. From well, the, um, of course, uh, the, uh, the station uh, has statistics uh, uh, that um, mm, uh, that reflect the prevalence of different markers and different functions. Uh, and the station has very uh, good structure that uh, follows the uh, author's uh, purpose. The, uh, the research chapters um, has the, present the most original material. Um, sociolinguistic correlations uh, are there uh, that reflect uh, the uh, the usage of PMTs in different uh, in the speech of different speakers. Uh, and um, unfortunately, maybe uh, there should be more interpretation uh, uh, put uh, to. Um, uh, different uh, phenomena, uh, and uh, that reflects uh, really uh, the lack of studies in uh, Russian and even world linguistics uh, on the topic. And um, also, um, I would like to point out that uh, uh, in addition to gender um, specifics, uh, uh, the author uh, describes uh, age specific uh, uh, specifics of uh, different uh, speech patterns, uh, five uh, age groups uh, uh, from 18 to 24, and then um, uh, and then each uh, uh, dozen, um, and then after 55, uh, all uh, ages um, are um, studied together. Uh, why? Uh, why this uh, delineation? Why not uh, in the middle of the? Why um, twenty? Uh, the uh, the the speaker of twenty four uh, is part of one group and twenty five is part of another group, for example. And um, also, there's an interesting uh, section in the last chapter. Uh, that uh, has to do with uh, the scale of pragmatization uh, and the different uh, types of uh, continuum, continuums. Um, and in this phase, uh, in the first uh, uh, instance, um, we talk. They talk about uh, different uh, stages of pragmatization of of uh, individual PMPTs, uh, and the second, uh, uh, the PMPTs. Uh, are compared with each other and uh, how far they uh, have come away from um, uh, free uh, usage. Um, and um, so my question is, uh, I have really questions rather than objections uh, because uh, the dissertation is um, mm, uh, is uh, is clearer to me now after I've listened to the uh, presentation. First one is um, the um, the first one uh, is um, uh, 
uh, in the first, uh, uh, the, I doubt that um, uh, if you um, treat uh, one PM, one word PM as a as a variant of PMPT, um, for example, what uh, makes you think that uh, uh, probably uh, is a, as a variant of uh, um, properly speaking, or in essence, uh, um, in English, um, uh, because uh, properly is an individual word, uh, and um, uh, and uh, <coughs> where do you have um, <coughs> uh, the? Uh, how many uh, examples do you have with properly or properly speaking? <coughs> then the same with uh, uh, in brief or briefly speaking, etc. But nevertheless, uh, my conclusion is that uh, the dissertation uh, uh, meets the requirements and uh, the author deserves the degree. Now, Yelena Valentinovna, your favor, please. Dear, dear colleagues, I have here it's evening for me, but for you it's uh, good afternoon. The, um, the decision uh, work uh, is dedicated um, to the promarker markers of the particular type, PMPT, uh, in the Russian spontaneous speech. Uh, this is part of a uh, series of uh, studies of uh, spontaneous speech, oral speech uh, of St. Petersburg University under the leadership of Bogdanova Beglaran. Uh, and it uses um, uh, the well-known corpora, one, one language day, and um, balanced, annotated uh, <coughs> text um, uh, textbook or text uh, corpus. Uh, the um, the author tackles uh, the process of grammaticalization and pragmaticalization, and that uh, uh, makes the author uh, uh, address uh, the semantics, grammatics, and pragmatics uh, together and the study of the relationship between social characteristics of speakers and the frequency of the of them using uh, individual PMPTs um, that of course uh, unites this with sociolinguistics um, and also uh, it's important uh, that uh, uh, when um, uh, the author tackles introver uh, introvert uh, or extrovert uh, uh, um, personalities of the um, respondents um, or uh, the speakers, uh, uh, this unites uh, her work with, uh, with uh, psycholinguistics. And um, so this all makes uh, the work really relevant. Um, and a very interesting uh, subject uh, of study uh, from a very important, uh, from a very n uh, different uh, uh, array of uh, angles. The first one is pragmatic markers. Uh, genetically, they are related to the um, uh, introductory construct constructions uh, in literal language. Christian Denisovna writes uh, in the dissertation that they. Uh, derive uh, they they uh, are produced in the process of pragmatization of uh, or pragmatization of lexical uh, uh, or more or bigger uh, units, um, uh, but um, also from this on this uh, th this problem can be viewed from a different perspective. Uh, uh, if we remember that uh, oral speech uh, is. Um, uh, is uh, uh, prior to uh, to a written speech um, uh, more original and therefore uh, uh, colloquial forms uh, uh, are more original than uh, literary forms and therefore uh, uh, this literary expressions uh, have developed from uh, these pragmatical uh, pragmatic markers. Um, that um, they were always uh, have always been uh, part of uh, a necessary part of oral speech, um, and um, so therefore uh, the genetic uh, uh, connection between them uh, uh, doesn't have a vector, a uh, uni uh, unidirectional vector, 
uh, but um, uh, a two-way street. Um, and uh, this is a very uh, interesting issue for further study, but not only pragmatic markers, but any uh, units and constructions uh, parallel in, in uh, or, or verbal speech and literary written language. Um, uh, literally language, yes. Also, uh, PMPTs uh, can uh, serve as indicators of the type of speech because, as uh, Christina Denison demonstrated in the dialogue and monologue, uh, different types of PMPTs are active uh, in the dialogue. The PMPTs um, that uh, that uh, perform the medical uh, Metacommunicative functions and functions of Zeno um, indicators um, are prevalent, uh, whereas uh, the monologue uh, has more reflexive and hesitative markers. Uh, and a further study of the frequency of this, uh, these different PMPTs and different types of oral texts um, can reveal uh, a lot of other um, regularities, um, very important uh, and interesting from the point of view of uh, the of textilistics and pragmatics and and also uh, I'd like to say that uh, the regionality of the research is there and the theoretical uh, significance are obvious from the theoretical point of view um, uh, there are different uh, aspects that I could point out um, First of all, uh, diachronic and synchronic uh, scales of pragmatization uh, and the, the description of social variation and the um, mm, or variability in uh, uh, in the use of PMPTs. Um, uh, uh, the uh, this uh, uh, these scales and the uh, uh, show the continuum of different shifts uh, between uh, uh, independent of their directions uh, from uh, properly semantic um, uh, language units to functional language units. Uh, well, uh, it also shows their interdependence um, and interconnections. And, uh, and also very important is that uh, uh, there are different speech patterns in men and women uh, that can serve as indicators of social uh, inequality, um, not necessarily uh, uh, current in the present time, but uh, uh, maybe uh, they're inherited uh, from the older times uh, by the patterns, by the established patterns of uh, usage. Um, men. Uh, more often than uh, women uh, use markers that uh, uh, indicate the, the uh, active um, uh, um, uh, position of the speaker in dialogue, uh, uh, briefly speaking, or in short, uh, say, and, uh, and, and women, uh, 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 that those that indicate uh, hesitation, uh, uh, lack of confidence, uh, the the uh, softening of the position of the speaker, and the appeal to the listener. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, uh, listen, uh, look, etc. The practical um, significance of the research uh, lies in the fact that the results can be uh, used in the um, uh, development of algorithms of automatic analysis of. Uh, natural speech. Uh, they, uh, in, uh, besides, the results can be used in, in uh, practical lexicographic uh, description of uh, Russian uh, oral speech. Um, uh, the style of the, of the language of the, in the dissertation is great, uh, but of course uh, there are some drawbacks, and the first one is uh, I would object um, uh, the use of some terms, uh, for example, uh, the term speech as uh, an aspect of uh, linguistic phenomena uh, the juxtaposed with language and uh, linguistic uh, activity and oral speech uh, as a form of uh, 
of the production of speech uh, or the uh, implementation of speech uh, uh, that are juxtaposed uh, to uh, the uh, this written speech uh, and the, uh, sometimes to the internal speech uh, and um, uh, colloquial speech uh, as a sociolinguistic co category as a form of uh, the existence of language a stylistic stylistic category uh, style w uh, within a literal language uh, well, it's very um, because the it looks like the author doesn't see the homonymic uh, uh, character of the t term uh, speech in these um, in these usages uh, uses uh, and doesn't pay attention or doesn't pay attention to it, and uh, therefore uh, I have some other comments, uh, critical comments. Uh, first of all. It has nothing to do, well, it may seem that like it has nothing to do with the topic of the station. Uh, this, the first one is the, uh, uh, the incorrect usage of the term uh, conditionally uh, uh, speech units, uh, which uh, uh, is used by the author in, in defining uh, pragmatic markers. Um, um, as page six. Uh, First of all, n the, uh, the, the fact that they're functional uh, already speaks of their uh, language characteristics, and the author of the station shows uh, a clear uh, language functions of such units, including text, um, uh, co uh, compositional, uh, uh, that, uh, i.e., for the functions of very high order. And in s this, and secondly, the automatism of the of the units doesn't doesn't uh, uh, have any impact on their uh, language functions. Uh, for example, the use of phonetic and other pragma grammatical units uh, do not uh, uh, reside in the uh, light uh, uh, area of conscience. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, is are uh, implemented or uh, produced automatically. And the third uh, is that in in Saint Petersburg, uh, ling linguistic tradition uh, following Cherba, um, uh, uh, the uh, the uh, axiom is that uh, language and speech uh, are only aspects of one uh, uh, phenomenon, um, and therefore. Uh, uh, therefore, in speech, only variants of some uh, ling linguistic units can be um, used, uh, but uh, they're not uh, uh, described as, linguistic un uh, as language units. And therefore, uh, the distillation uh, is, uh, is a step in this direction. Another uh, comment is, has, has to do with the statistic apparatus. Um, and the um, the, ref the how the uh, quality data are referenced, um, and so therefore um, <clears throat> there uh, uh, the um, what did uh, the author uh, mean uh, by uh, the term of uh, significant correlations? Uh, it's not clear because uh, there, um, there's no uh, analysis of uh, correlations at all. And uh, also, uh, I, uh, I didn't find any, uh, it, uh, any explication or explaining of the choice of this or that statistical procedures and, or, this, uh, or their variance. Uh, uh, which, of course, is done or is required when you use a method, uh, and um, and or especially different methods. S uh, and then other quantitative uh, information uh, uh, is um, represented in the text uh, as uh, round diagrams uh, or tables. Uh, um, and um, unfortunately, uh, the uh, interpretation, um, the, but, uh, the, uh, the tables uh, that are normally 
um, pre, uh, rep, that normally represent such data are not uh, available, and uh, it's very hard for us to, as readers, to understand what this or that component means. Uh, uh, as far as the um, the situations PMTs in uh, speech, uh, well, there are two questions. If we take uh, the marker, listen. Uh, the well, for example, in Mayakovsky's uh, poem, listen. Uh, if uh, if stars are lit, it means that uh, somebody needs this. Um, and, and well, I think that uh, at least um, in the context of oral speech, uh, uh, the usage is identical. Although um, these examples uh, uh, in uh, of this marker, the incidence of this markers, uh, um, uh, are, no examples are available in the work. But uh, uh, but uh, the author says that uh, in this form, marker the, this marker is used. Uh, so how do you? Uh, interpret, uh, listen, uh, fr uh, 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 used by Mayakovsky. Uh, as in oral speech, uh, you c we can uh, call it a PMT, PMPT, or if not, uh, um, then why? Only because uh, it's uh, used uh, in literary, uh, in a literature, in a piece of literature. Um, so the work also has this, that ellipsis um, has a very important role in the pragmatization of units. Uh, but um, does it uh, uh, make, um, uh, does it have it, uh, uh, does it make it uh, uh, close to such uh, shortened formulas like uh, uh, good, uh, meaning good morning or uh, good um, have a good uh, meaning uh, have a good meal or uh, have uh, uh, in the sense of uh, have in mind or mean and um, so um, for example this uh, uh, some of the forms uh, uh, are used even by uh, radio and TV presenters. So, but, uh, irrespective of what I said uh, in terms of uh, criticism, I totally support this uh, work, and uh, I uh, state that uh, Zydus Christina Denison deserves the uh, the awarding of uh, an academic degree of kind of philological sciences in the degree field uh, 10201 uh, Russian uh, plagiarism, plagiarism um, uh, clo uh, clause is not violated. Uh, Maria Nikolaevna Priyomashova. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, wonderful. I would like to, I will shorten my, uh, my present, uh, my review, because um, maybe I will say the same thing as that we've just heard. And uh, I say that, that uh, this work, um, has a very uh, high degree of relevance because this is an exclusive material that uh, you know that was studied and uh, and uh, this this is uh, maybe a well known material for uh, for the um, uh, for the war. Uh, researchers uh, under the mentorship of uh, uh, of this academic advisor but uh, but uh, for us it's very new uh, for us uh, uh, you know but these databases uh, of corpus 
the corpora are very in, uh, interesting. Well, the in uh, defense of what uh, I just heard, some reviewers that uh, some formality in um, in the writing of the decision, uh, but. I would say that this is uh, uh, this work is uh, written um, is meeting a, a meets a challenge, uh, you know, as in defiance of the existence uh, existing views, maybe. And um, it has, uh, you know, even in the form, uh, it has a very um, original structure because it's it's full of conclusions. Um, this uh, the whole text is full of interesting statements. I liked it so much. I uh, I understood everything what the the author said, uh, and I didn't doesn't I don't have uh, real questions or criticisms. I will just say that. That uh, you know, it's a real rare instance that I uh, don't see uh, much um, uh, to uh, to criticize uh, in the work. But I would like to say th uh, the um, the academic discussion that uh, this work will generate uh, will definitely. Uh, go a long way and uh, to the um, uh, development of uh, of the field, but um, my questions: the methodology uh, of the research. Uh, the author uh, uh, made lists of predictive markers in uh, spontaneous in oral speech uh, on the basis of analyzing the corpus of. Uh, uh, oral speech, um, uh, but um, uh, and the, the, she presents this in figures, um, uh, and it shows how interesting and uh, promising this material for research is. But um, uh, uh, but how? Uh, uh, in what uh, way and in which uh, linguistic status uh, uh, are such uh, un uh, could such units be analyzed uh, as part of traditional methods of uh, studying oral or written speech? And uh, uh, where in uh, in uh, orig uh, in uh, the traditional grammar uh, and uh, the um, traditional dictionary, can you find uh, such uh, units or uh, uh, give um, uh, this information? Well, uh, this th my question uh, has some answers in the uh, work, but not as complete as I would like it to be. Uh, second question has to do with the first one and uh, relates to um, possible concrete um, avenues uh, for the of the analysis. The analysis opens. Uh, um, what uh, are the possible ultimate uh, goals uh, or uh, uh, perspectives uh, for the materialization of? Uh, of this data, and um, uh, what uh, could uh, it uh, uh, end up in in a grammar of uh, of oral speech, uh, in a dictionary of pragmatic markers of oral everyday speech? Uh, so, in what uh, in in other ways, in other words, uh, in which. In what way can you can we use received data uh, and uh, received findings? Findings. Well, as I uh, as uh, someone else said, uh, 
the the um, the number of works that uh, cover uh, uh, the findings uh, is impressive. Uh, Twenty-eight uh, articles, including eleven in um, <clears throat> in higher station committee uh, list, uh, and then double web of science scholars. Um, so, therefore, uh, based on the uh, what I said uh, before, uh, I would say that uh, uh, certainly uh, the um, mm, uh, the author of the dissertation, Christina Denisovna Zaidas, uh, undoubtedly uh, deserves the the third degree of the candi of candidate of uh, philological sciences in the degree field 100201. Are the Russian language. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria Nikolaevna. And uh, I would like to my own. The and the well, the uh, relevance is uh, undoubted. The analysis uh, is done with, you know, in recent trends. Follow the recent trends. It uh, has an interdisciplinary nature. The um, statistic uh, analysis is there, and um, uh, understudied uh, linguistic phenomena, phenomena are uh, treated different. Uh, uh, PMPTs uh, were studied, um, and uh, the this algorithm uh, uh, from uh, the the algorithm is to find find uh, the trace the origins from which uh, linguistic units uh, these PMPTs uh, um, uh, come from. Uh, Based on uh, the algorithm, the dissertation presents uh, a system of such units, uh, grammaticalization and uh, pragmatization for each marker. The links between, uh, uh, for each element uh, uh, between the linguistic uh, uh, features of each element, morphological um, characteristics, syntactic structure, functions, and discursive, discursive uh, behavior, and other parameters of a communicative situation, the type of text, uh, uh, features of a speech situation, and um, speaker characteristics. Well, there's practical uh, significance, of course, uh, the results and, uh, and the uh, Mm, the uh, the ways of uh, annotating uh, that uh, have been used in the work uh, with the um, corpus uh, uh, allow us to uh, use this strategy um, uh, in studying other corpora of uh, oral speech. Um, I also would like to say that uh, the dissertation the author of the dissertation shows uh, erudition, and uh, it studies, uh, but because of the the work studies uh, is based on or uh, draws upon uh, the work of predecessors, and uh, and uh, but it also shows teamwork uh, with. Uh, uh, mentors, uh, uh, more uh, experienced workers, and uh, the, uh, the joint publications show that. And then the the, uh, the academic style of writing is um, uh, is evident. Um, the practical practical significance is the uh, not only uh, the fact that uh, the uh, this method can be reused but also in teaching 
not only in research, but also for translators, uh, it's very important. And so the uh, inter-language data that are presented uh, are invaluable uh, for translators. When I read this paper, this work, I had some questions and some critical remarks. That um, first of all, I would like to say that um, the the author showed uh, a very profound level of understanding and um, of English uh, concepts that uh, have to do with uh, the topics under. A discussion uh, this uh, level is very rare in candidate of sciences dissertations um, uh, but on the other hand uh, there's a disbalance towards uh, international um, uh, foreign research uh, uh, maybe um, the works of Russian researchers are under a uh, value this set uh, for example, uh, it's not only chapter two, uh, but um, but um, you know you have only um, the um, for example uh, are the background of um, discursive markers of the English language, uh, uh, Russian research uh, of discursive words. Uh, um, are m uh, is meager uh, in page on page six of uh, eighty six and eighty seven uh, one and a half pages are like allocated uh, and only uh, Kiselova and Payar nineteen ninety eight um, uh, the uh, guide on discursive uh, uh, words of the Russian language uh, is um, reviewed um, and uh, after which. Um, the the author uh, uh, starts treats, uh, starts uh, describing Be Bogdano Beglaran's uh, con concepts, uh, and that was it. Um, well, as far as the uh, second uh, is that um, well, and uh, to, in uh, relation to to what I said, uh, uh, I can point out that. Um, some um, uh, works are omitted uh, that are uh, well known and established in the Russian uh, uh, literature. For example, um, uh, 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 conjunction of free um, actant um, uh, uh, sentences with the verb uh, to think in the Russian language by Natalia Vadimna Serdebolskaya. Uh, which sets out uh, the criteria that um, um, allow to uh, delineate uh, conjunction-free usages of think, of the verb think, uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, and uh, uh, dedicated constructions with uh, I think uh, uh, delineated by commas and uh, and therefore. Um, uh, that's, for example, uh, uh, Serdaboyska quotes uh, uh, the uh, lay of uh, Igor's uh, 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 the host of Igor, um, and therefore, um, you know, uh, 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 making reference to prosodic uh, data, also. Uh, Kustova uh, in the biography, in the bibliography, uh, a very well-known researcher uh, is presented only by a, a small uh, uh, presentation at the conference of um, 2018 in Barcelona. Uh, and why not uh, the publication on this topic uh, in the dialogue 2018? Mental predicates of the se in the s of the second person in mental textual constructions uh, and the computer linguistics and intellectual te technology dialogue 2018. Uh, it could be uh, uh, also it could be also augmented by Cousteau's semantic effects uh, in dialogue 2020. And um, then. Uh, 
from uh, the from my point of view the um, and I also think that um, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, attitude, well, the close attention to the marker, I think, or think, uh, uh, which um, uh, I uh, represent here, uh, uh, is explained uh, by the fact that uh, uh, the verifiability of, of uh, this pragmatic marker uh, was not uh, done in the dissertation as. Um, as uh, rigidly as um, it was done with the other markers, um, for example, on pages 120 and 121, uh, uh, you uh, find with of the Russian version, we find it with uh, such uh, uh, examples of um, uh, full uh, full-fledged uh, predicative uh, units. Um, uh, but rather than with the function of uh, of um, um, a dedicated element, uh, nevertheless, um, um, yeah, there are other uh, questions. But uh, nevertheless, they don't diminish the value of the work, and uh, I uh, fully endorse this uh, dissertation, and I believe that. Uh, uh, Christina Denisovna Zaidis deserves the right to be awarded a kind of sciences degree in philology in the degree field 2010.02.01, the Russian language. And the uh, plagiarism uh, I at uh, clause 11 um, is not violated. Thank you very much. Christina Denisovna, your turn. But first of all, I would like to sincerely thank you, Katerina Yurina Pratasov, Maria Dmitrievna Bacon, Yelena Valentina Yerofeyevna, Maria Nikolaevna Piyomasho, Lubov Diminishaevna, uh, Radnaevna, Yelena Yurina Ivanova for the feedback filled with important remarks and useful advice. And I'm ready to answer the questions that have arisen. Katerina Yurina asks about such a characteristic of pragmatic marks as their incompleteness. You can, we can say that it is the reduction phonetic, um, semantic, and syntactic that testifies to the fact that the process of pragmatization, our word, our expression, is taking place or has already taken place. The folding of predicative units into an expression without a predicate or subject leads to the fact that as a result of the loss of components, the original semantics of such analysis is changed or truncated, and the unit remaining after such a truncation begins to express a new meaning and perform precisely the function in the oral spontaneous speech. And of course, the very tendency to incomplete sentences is characteristic of oral speech as a whole. But in the case of PM, such kind of syntactic incompleteness also leads to a significant transformation of the meaning and the entire expression, and even to the loss of all the expression in, the, in its original meaning, and its transformation into a purely functioning unit, a pragmatic marker. It seems to me that the question of Ekaterina Yuren about the interpretation of the frequency of PM should be answered in follows. Pragmatic markers as phenomena, of course, complement a wide arsenal of tools are used in spontaneous speech, and they contribute uh, to our characterization of speech as spontaneous as opposed to prepared. The frequency of, P of the PM testifies precisely to such a feature of speech as spontaneity. Uh, since then, being semantic and significant elements of discourse are selected by the speakers in the process of generating speech, right at the moment of formulating thoughts, during hesitation, reflecting the doubts and hesitation of the speaker. Indeed, the results of the distribution of markers in the speech of speakers with different levels of speech competence obtained on the basis of the research material are difficult to interpret unambiguously, since no dependence of the total number of PMs in speech on this feature was found. It can be concluded that this characteristic is not significant for determinant for, uh, the number of uh, the number of pragmatic markers in general in oral spontaneous speech, however, some types of markers clearly tend to be used mainly by carriers of low or conversely high precision. I gratefully accept um, advice on the possibility of using paraphrasing technique. 
answering the question of Maria Dmitrievna about the presence of a hesitative function in markers and say the influence of the position of the marker on its functional, on its functional characteristics, I can note the following. In the case of some PMs, their position in the phrase does not at all lead to a change in the function since they come from an independent predicate unit. For example, like this, like him, like her, them, like, like, or like this, or like them, what else. Uh, the position of such markers always determines their only function, which cannot be varied. Usually hesitation search markers uh, appear in front of the sort unit, and the reflexive markers are uh, after some assumption. Other markers, on the other hand, may appear in different places in the phrase or have different positions. I think the marker in the proposition to the desired unit <coughs> will most likely be hesitating, and in the post position there will be primarily a border marker. A marker say uh, can stand, I s a maker say, <coughs> can stand in the preposition of a word or expression, and then it can be both hesitative and reflexive. In the prep in pre post position, it's always reflexive. In short, and strictly speaking, they uh, tend to the initial position, or less often to the final one, and are thus markers of the phrase border. Uh, boundary. I want to thank Marie Dmitry for this question. Marie Dmitry also asks about the decision on formants uh, or uh, um, uh, speakers uh, into age groups that I use. I rely on the age classification introduced by the Academy of Pedagogic College Sciences, Pedagogic Science of the USSR, with a refined division of middle aged people, according to the works of Alice Elmano Stern. At the same time, elderly age uh, is limited to the by the framework from 55 to 60 years, depending on gender, to 75 years. Although the speech of informants are older than this age is not analyzed uh, in the study. I think that the reason for drawing such age boundaries in the middle of the decade may be factors of an earlier or later onset of personality crisis. So the end of the period of the of adolescence, adolescence can be conditionally the moment of receiving higher education and studying and career at about 25 years old. The mid midlife crisis is between 30 and 35 years. This division seems to be somewhat arbitrary. In addition, uh, to, of course, uh, the study uh, did not confirm the effect of age and the amount of PM used in speech as a whole. However quite uh, expectedly some individual markers were identified that are more often used by young people and conversely by representatives of other age groups. To, to some extent conditional and strict division of informants according to the level of their speech confidence uh, uh, also important um, Many a uh, lot of data of this kind are contained in section uh, six point three of the level of speech competence as the real social characteristics of the speaker, which determines uh, uh, their speech. Of the second volume of the collective monograph uh, published in 2018, edited by Bogdanov Beglaren, it shows specific linguistic correlates of uh, of different levels of speech competence, the degree of articulation, discreteness of a spontaneous monologue on sentences, the average length of sentences and words, etc. Regarding the question of Maria Dmitry about the possibility of considering the PM as a kind of a marker, in fact, I can say that, uh, of course, combining the, uh, I can say that, of course, combining markers uh, originating from introductory combinations or from particles into one class is a problematic issue, which, among other things, I discovered, for example, uh, in reference books uh, as a criterion for distinguishing a particle of an introductory word Dmit Dietmar Elaskevich Rosenthal uh, proposes um, uh, adding to actually speaking and watching how the meaning changes uh, the total number of such units in the research material is 21 uh, of which 7 are actually and 14 are uh, actually speaking. As you can see, uh, it is the marker itself that predominates in speech. Sorry, Elena Valentinovna, uh, to, I would like to answer the remark of Elena Valentinovna. 
st but statistics and the work, um, the methods I have chosen reflect r rather not the relationship between two con quantitative uh, variables, but rather the distribution of variables in each of the posed samples. In the, in the case of the analysis of two groups, for example, the speech of men and women, a, stins, a t test was used, uh, reflecting significant differences in the number of PMs uh, used to, uh, by representatives of different groups on average. In the case of studying two or more groups, for example, speakers with high, medium, and low CPC, one way ANOVA was used using Turkey's test, Tuke's test which makes it impossible to uh, find out which of the groups significantly different from each other in the average number of markers used. I, correlation in my work means, therefore, the relation between uh, the average number of markers and some sign of the speaker, social and psychological, or type of text. I thank Elena Valentina for this remark. Uh, answering Elena Valentina's question about the use of markers in written speech and literary text, for example, in Vladimir Mayakovsky's poem, listen, I can note that the use of PM uh, is, of course, not limited uh, exclusively to the sphere of oral speech. They are possible, for example, in any of the of any written imitations. However, it seems that it, in this poem, the presence of explanation intonation in the word listen makes it almost impossible to interpret it as a pragmatic marker. Uh, however, some markers are found in the preposition, in the postposition to the information that the speaker wants to draw attention to and are designed to, with interrogative and sometimes even interrogative explanatory intonation. That is why the intonation criteria cannot be uh, the leading one in determining the status of unit. Uh, but I'm inclined to believe that in this poetic example, listen, nevertheless close, is closer to the full valid word because, firstly, it remains, it retains its direct lexical meaning supported by intonation, and secondly, it cannot be replaced by other pragmatic markers of the same groups. Look, you know, see, hear, etc. Or listen. Whereas in the research material, although they are uh, very rare, um, uh, uses of markers in the form of listen still show the possibility of such a replacement. Um, the following can be added to the question uh, about uh, the transformation of the units in 2 p.m. Indeed, the reduction of the and the ellipsis of forms associated with the process of grammaticalization and pragmatization uh, occurring in speech, but it's worth distinguishing the results obtained from this process. For example, in the case of expressions good, morning and pleasant or good uh, bone and not appetites um, or ha n and have a uh, have a meal have a good meal and so on uh, the form uh, retains its meaning not if not lexical then etiquette and the status of an interjection uh, the folding is also typical of for etiquette forms as for some stable physiological physiological Phraseologized um, uh, verb combinations such as have in mind, take into account, play a role. It can be assumed that they also follow a path of changing the composition of the components associated with lexicalization. I think that Elena Vincent's reasoning about the bidirectional connection between oral and written speech, uh, pragmatic markers and introductory words, seems very interesting. Thank you. I will uh, take it up uh, in my further research. Answering Maria Nikolaevna's questions about the possibilities of another analysis of PM, another way of analyzing, including markers of the predicative type, um, I would uh, I would say that um, uh, from the standpoint of traditional grammar, many units I highlight are considered um, as introductory words and sentences that inherit the morphological properties of words as part of speech but go to a new textual level uh, in the form of individual syntactic elements of the sentence. Uh, in existing dictionaries and grammars, one can find a general description of such units, their class classification by meaning or function, and a description of their differences from other parts of speech and sentence members, and finally the features of s their punctuation. Many features of the PM of the predictive type analyzed in the work are reflected in dictionary pragmatic markers of Russian everyday speech uh, created, uh, you know, uh, written by Natalia Viktorovna. 
In this dictionary of pragmatic markers, as presented in separate dictionary entry, uh, uh, there she includes several main zones, a semantic zone can, containing the interpretation of the marker in existing dictionary grams, a semantic uh, grammatical background for describing the function of unit in the oral speech, functional area reflecting all possible functions of a marker and speech, speech illustrations uh, drawn from various corpuses of of uh, oral speech and the zone of reflection of correlations with the type of speech, monologue, dialogue, and the characteristics of speaker. It seems the, the creation of such a dictionary useful not only for linguists dealing with phenomena of oral speech, but also for translators, creators of voice interfaces, uh, teachers of Russian foreign language, and other specialists. As far as Elena Yurevna's remark about the way of pragmatization of the marker, I think that uh, 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 development from the introductory word uh, um, uh, the, um, uh, uh, follows this uh, s uh, way uh, that as an introductory word it is just as grammatical as the PM, but it is not yet pragmatic enough since it retains the possibility of additional assessment. In contrast to a purely functional unit in which there is practically no such manifestation of subjective modality, the principles of demarcation of markers and non-markers are always uh, are not always definite. For example, both the marker and the introductory word have no syntactic links with the rest of the words in the in the phrase. I think the remain uh, selection criteria as a PM of the predicative type, in addition to the weakening of the lexical meaning. And the syntactic um, independence, the heter heterogeneity of this construction, its introductory character becomes its position next to the stretch marks, hesitation pauses. In the words of Natalia Victor, the king is played by the re retinue. Uh, uh, consequently, the selection of a pragmatic marker is of a predic predictive type in the absence of such phenomena as speech spontaneity. Uh, is significantly difficult since the function of a hesitation pause filler uh, often does not completely replace the meaning of the very component. Elena Yurevna's question about the functional difference of the very in the variance of the uh, uh, of the Tosio uh, Russian unit uh, to and that uh, that and that and other sequences is partial par partially answered by the work in the work of another graduate student of Natalia Victor and Tatiana Igorna Popova. She investigated substitute markers with <coughs> read application, including Tosio, uh, this and that, and came um, to the conclusion that if the components of a marker with a union with a, a conjunction are located a distantly and have words associated with them, for example, both were forbidden and Tosio and so was not allowed, then it is more likely that they are regarded by philological aspects as two separate units, closer to pronouns, not as one substitute markers. Separately, I would like to thank Elena Yurevna uh, for bibliographic recommendations on the topic of my dissertation, which were not included in my work, especially for the articles of Natalia Vladimir Serdobolska, Kalina Ivanovna Kustova, and the, the book by Tatiana Mikhailovna Nikolaev. Thank you. Dear colleagues, we can continue this dialogue if uh, if you uh, if there are any uh, people would like who would like to or if not um, I would like to ask uh, this question: Are you satisfied with with the answers? Please answer this question, all of you. I uh, I'm satisfied. Satisfied. I am satisfied. Also, completely satisfied. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. I will have uh, the opportunity to um, hear opinions from uh, the people present in the uh, room uh, who are not members of the discussion committee. Any, anyone who would like to know? Thank you. Have we received any questions by email? No questions by email. So um, 
Therefore, we would like to, uh, to give the floor to the academic advisor, uh, Natalia Viktorovna, please. Uh, tell us about the candidate and, and her work. Dear members of the station committee, I'm very happy to see you, uh, at least uh, on the screen. I would like to share uh, my opinion about Christina Denison. Christina and I met uh, a teacher and student a long time ago. Uh, I was a bachelor student, student and he joined my course in the fourth year decided to become a linguist uh, instead of a, a um, literary studies person. And, uh, and Christina was uh, bold enough in uh, covering the difference. And therefore, uh, he, she wrote a bachelor work uh, in linguistics. And then two, um, two works, two uh, uh, years in the master's program and the master gestation was defended, and three uh, years of doctoral study leading up to the present defense. And I can say about Christina as my uh, disciple, not only as um, as a graduate at three levels, but as a as a an academic uh, partner, uh, because uh, we have been involved in joint projects uh, in all years uh, as a master student, as a postdoctoral student. Uh, she is a has been a member of our team, research team. She has been working on two on big two uh, projects uh, that have to do with uh, Russian everyday speech, and. Uh, and our team, Christine, is a chief specialist in uh, monologic speech corpus study. Uh, she holds all the material, uh, uh, metadata of uh, the uh, speakers, and she is an expert that to be contacted by students and also uh, adult members of our team, and uh, it's an, a not. Uh, overestimation to say that Christina has been very collegiate and uh, responsible and prolific for all these years. Uh, she has a baggage of publications that uh, that are very rare. That uh, uh, lots of uh, 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 candidate uh, candidates for degree of uh, Academy of Science of. Uh, of candidate of sciences can dream of, and, uh, and of course uh, some publications are in co-author uh, as a co-author, but um, but six publications uh, are published in broad and for for a doctoral students is not very uh, typical, and uh, so many uh, conferences Estonia Hungary uh, Spain. Uh, uh, she is very easy to uh, speak both in English and in Russian about her work. And uh, in June 2020, she presented in computer linguistics in ITMO. Uh, and uh, in, Rus in the uh, journal Russian Speech, um, another publication is coming out in Moscow. And uh, Christina has uh, uh, has work is is a ma in such a momentum that uh, it cannot be stopped. And um, also in it more, she has uh, been um, uh, involved in some research work as well. For for the years of study, Christina has been has earned uh, respect from st of students and colleagues. Christine is one of the uh, most authoritative uh, scholars. She, but nevertheless, she comes every uh, week uh, 
joins our seminar and uh, helps uh, uh, by constructive uh, uh, participation uh, the other members of the seminar. And, uh, and I would like to thank her for that, and also I would like to wish her success in her future work. Thank you very much, Natalia Viktorovna. Dear colleagues, since we are um, holding our uh, session uh, partly in the distant mode and partly in offline, uh, so uh, any questions uh, all regarding the procedure and the technology? Do you have any questions or objections? No, no questions. No questions. Dear colleagues, members of the station committee, we have uh, an opportunity now before the open voting procedure and the the voicing and the um, uh, making a, uh, set, uh, 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 concluding a verdict. Uh, we could switch off the broadcast and discuss between ourselves uh, in private um, what uh, what conclusion uh, uh, is. Um, uh, if not, uh, uh, and you're ready to publicly express uh, your vote, uh, then no, no need to uh, to make a break, and uh, therefore members of the session. Uh, committee uh, uh, s uh, expressed their view that uh, we don't need such a break for deliberations and therefore uh, the concluding part of the uh, the session that we, we can hear and see each other well so I put to the vote uh, the following resolution to award uh, uh, Christina Denis of Nazidis, uh, an academic degree of kind of philological sciences in the degree field 10201, the Russian language. The, I inform you again uh, that um, uh, that uh, uh, the positive uh, decision is taken when m not fewer than three uh, members of the session committee have voted in favor of this resolution. Protasova, uh, Protasova, Ekaterina Yurina, what's your opinion, your vote? Uh, yeah. Ekaterina Yurina uh, says uh, that Christine Denison deserves the degree. Maria Dmitrievna uh, Vojekova, I vote uh, to, uh, to award the degree. Maria Dmitrievna expresses the positive opinion, votes for. Yelena Valentina Yerofeva, your opinion. I, of course, I am for the dissertation leaves no questions and no doubts. Thank you very much. Maria Nikolaevna Piyomashova, I vote for, for the resolution. And as a Chairperson, uh, Yelena Yurna Ivano, I vote for the awarding of the degree of uh, candidate of uh, theological sciences um, to Christina Dinesson. Therefore, dear colleagues and guests, I am happy to announce that uh, out of the five members of the dissertation committee uh, who had the, the right to vote, uh, five people voted for the uh, the verdict to to award uh, Christina Denis of Nazidis the academic degree of Canada Philological Sciences in academic uh, degree field 10201 Russian. Uh, again, I would like to ask, uh, since uh, we are partly uh, in a remote mode, uh, uh, do we have, does any uh, uh, do any of you uh, are, are you all happy with the procedure? Maria Dmitrievna happy? Yes. Uh, Maria Nikolaevna happy? 
Happy? Helena Valentin, happy? No comments, no critical remarks, no objections. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd like to to give the floor to Christine Devin for a concluding statement. Thank you. I would like to thank uh, my deep gratitude to, to all members of the session committee. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, telepathically, I, I, I am uh, sending you my, my gratitude. Thank you very much, Marina. I cannot see you, but, uh, but uh, through the waves. And I can see uh, my academic advisor, and I would like to thank her. Thank for th uh, I would like to thank uh, the um, author of the external review as well for your all of you for very close attention to my work and uh, for your critical remarks, invaluable uh, uh, efforts uh, for commenting uh, and uh, suggestions for improvement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my academic advisor is my uh, light uh, beacon. Uh, your your uh, attention to every line in my dissertation, your comment, uh, your efforts uh, have followed me uh, all my years of studying at the university. Natalia E. Viktorovna, uh, help me to uh, create hypotheses uh, and analyze the material and uh, and encourage me to to work natalia victor uh, when i was still a student of bachelor's degree uh, was uh, the impetus um, our seminar was the impetus of my for my work natalia victor showed me that uh, a very close uh, linguistic analysis uh, uh, is something that I would like to take up when I uh, lead the research work of my own students, research, uh, graduate students. Thank you, all the colleagues uh, that followed me in my work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christian Tina. Yes, uh, please, uh, a round of applause. The session is now officially closed. Thank you for participation. The broadcast should be switched off. Thank you.